Yo, 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 it is Selena, and today I'm gonna be talking about your problematic fave, Drake. Now, don't get it twisted, I love Drake's music. Um, I actually did that Spotify decade wrapped thing, and it actually said that Drake was my artist of the decade. So, I didn't even know I listened to that much Drake, but apparently over these last 10 years, I listen to a lot of Drake, so obviously I love his music, but lately I've been noticing that he's been acting pretty weird lately. And the reason why I said that is because this whole thing with Millie Bobby Brown, I was like, mmm, that's kind of strange. And then it's also the same thing with Billie Eilish, and I was like, mmm, now it's two. It's two. And it's just this is just getting weird so I decided to dig into it and I researched uh, Drake's history with minors and now we're gonna talk about it because I feel like not enough people are talking about it so first let's talk about him and Millie Bobby Brown Billy Bobby Brown if you don't know um, is 15 now but at the time of this video that I'm gonna show she was 14 and she expressed that her and Drake text a lot um, apparently and he gives her dating advice and they was texting each other that they miss each other and I'm just like that's kind of weird I'm sorry that is weird Drake is a grown-ass man why are you texting a 14 year old you miss her and giving her dating advice why are you texting a 14 year old period <laughs> like okay let me just let me show you guys the video all right so that was that uh that's weird to me and the fact that millie isn't even the only young girl that he texts he also texts billy eilish if you don't know billy eilish she's 17 years old and she also said that she texts Drake as well, or Drake texts her. I'd say, I'd say probably, probably Khalid, Khalid, which, which is, is weird because he's, he's like, like just, just a homie of mine. Oh, oh Hailey Bieber, Bieber, Justin Bieber, Bieber Young Thug, Avril Lavigne, Ariana Grande, Kid Cudi, Ty Dolla Oh, Tiana oh, Taylor. Taylor. God, there's so many. many. But like, like Drake, Drake, come on, Drake. Drake is, is like the, the nicest dude, dude I've ever, ever spoken to. to. I mean, I mean I've only like, like texted, texted him, him, but he's, he's so nice. Like, like, he does, he does not, not need, need to be nice. nice. You, know you know what I mean? mean? He's, He's at a level, level in his life where, where he doesn't, doesn't need, need to be nice, nice but he is, is, you know? Next. Why? <laughs> Why is she texting Drake? Now, some people are defending this, saying that, you know, maybe he's mentoring them. I mean, Billie Eilish is a young girl in the music industry. Drake is in the music industry. Maybe he's giving her advice, um, trying to help her out with her career. And then as for Billie Eilish, she's a young actress in Hollywood. And Drake, you know, started off his career actually as an actor in Degrassi. Um, so he knows how to act. Maybe he's giving her some acting advice as well, helping her, mentoring both of these young girls so that they are successful. And if that's the case, that's great because especially for young um, people in the entertainment industry, it's so easy for them to get taken advantage of. Um, as we see all the time, unfortunately, um, but at the same time, like, isn't that what a manager's for? <laughs> I don't know. Like, and then I found out that Drake's history with texting young girls actually dates back some years. All right. I found out that in 2010, you know, Drake was having a concert and he pulls a girl on stage. Okay. Happens all the time and he's kissing up on her and feeling on her and then he asks you know what is your age and then she says she's 17 
And you know, the crowd boos because like she was seven clean and you were just filling up on her. But then he decides, you know, to keep feeling on her and to give her a kiss on the lips. And it's just like, like before you could like make the, like you can excuse me. I'm just so flabbergasted. Um, before you could like, you know, excuse him and be like, oh, he didn't know how old she was. Which is like, why didn't you ask first? Like, that's kind of weird. But then after he knows that she's 17, he still, watch the video. It's gross. It's actually gross. And then he has the audacity to, after she says she's 17, to be like, you're 17. Why are you so thick? This is something that happens to young girls, especially young black girls. Like, come on. All the damn time. You People like to use young girls' bodies and being, you know, curvy as an excuse like, oh, well, I didn't know she was under A. She's so thick. She's so thick. I mean, she ain't had to be that pretty. She ain't had to have all that ass. She ain't had to have all, all them titties. No. No, no, no. Just because, you know, a young girl's body looks a certain way, she cannot help that. But you know what you can help? Not fucking talking to her. Not fucking kissing her. You know she's underage. You know she's underage, so why do you wanna go, 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 She can't help her body now. She cannot fucking help her body, but you can help being a fucking pervert and leaving. Disgusting, disgusting, okay? And I hate that argument, I hate that argument. Cause it's taking the, it's almost like it's taking the innocence out of like a young girl, especially young black girl's childhood. You, people always wanna say, you know, she look fast, she look grown. Why does she look grown? Cause she's not, it's, it's usually people who are young girls who happen to have a little bit more curves. Cause she's not stick thin. She looks grown. No, 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 no. She is under age. She's not like, if, that, if that's literally your only reason because like she just happens to be a little curvier, it doesn't matter what the fuck she wears. If she could be head to toe dressed head to toe, she's still gonna have hips. And she's still gonna, that doesn't change her age. She's still under age. So just let her be a kid. Stop trying to, oh, that's a whole nother story. After he learns that she's 17, he still has the audacity to say, I like the way your breasts fill up on my chest. And then kiss her. Boop, 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 and boop. That's creepy. I don't give a fuck, that's creepy. And it gets worse. So in 2009, I'm just showing you guys that these <sighs> Millie Bobby Brown and Billie Eilish are not the first time we see Drake interacting with young girls in a weird way. That's why I pulled up this video from 2010 to show you guys that this has been going on for a while. 
and now we have a tweet from 2009 um so yeah drake has been weird for a while apparently and um no one noticed until millie bobby brown which is i mean it's good that we're noticing now but it's just like yeah let me read that tweet May 30th, 2009, at 3.03 p.m. Drake had the nerve to tweet, if amazing was a young bitch, I'd be going to jail because I'm fucking amazing. And that was a self quote. Let, let's read that again. If amazing was a young bitch, I'd be going to jail because I'm fucking amazing. He just, he's telling on himself. He literally said, he'd be going to, he's, he fucking young girl. If he wasn't actually fucking young girls or young bitches, um, then he's at least thinking about it or alluding to it or, uh, I feel like he literally told on himself. He told on himself, and yeah, 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 it's an old tweet, but the fact that we're seeing him texting young girls now, and based on his previous behavior, I don't think he's changed. He was weird then in 2009 with this tweet, he was weird then in 2010 with kissing that 17 year old girl, and now he's weird again now, current day, by texting Millie Bobby Brown and Billie Eilish. Sometimes people change, but sometimes people don't. And now we're looking at his past behavior and it's kind of, <laughs> Also, some more just receipts or information I want to um, let be known that also in 2016, um, him and Haley Baldwin, who is now Haley Bieber because she's married to Justin Bieber, uh, casually dated. She was 19 at the time, so technically, you know, she was a legal adult. But, I mean, just more proof that Drake likes them young, I guess. She was 19 at the time. Also, Drake knew Kylie Jenner since she was a kid. He even performed at her 16th birthday party. Yes, uh, back in 2013. He actually has admitted to being attracted to her for a very long time. And after her and Travis Scott broke up recently, which was this year, let me actually fact check that. Was that this year or last year? Yeah, it was this year, October 2019 is when Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott broke up. So after their split, Drake has actually said, um, Drake actually said that he's been attracted to her for a long time. And there were actually dating rumors um, because they were seen together at this spot um going on dates but then kylie has said that she would not date drake because she knows he's a womanizer but how long of a time has he been attracted to kylie jenner because she's what 21 let me see 22 my bad she's 22 and he's known her since at least she was 16 at least we know he know her he knew her longer but at least since she was 16. so how long you been attracted to her drake how long is a long time? Hmm? Hmm? Was it when she was 16 where you also still attracted her then? Because if so, that's weird. That's very weird. Hmm. Now with all of this information, I think it would be very important to talk about sexual grooming. Now I am not saying that this is what Drake is doing. But I think we just need to talk about it, okay? And I have my notes. I'm going to be looking at my notes, actually. So, just before we even start talking about sexual grooming, I just want to let it be known that whenever a child is sexually abused, it is never the child's fault. It is always um, the abuser's fault. The child is never in the wrong. Um, they are a victim in this situation, and so forth. According to thinkyounow.uk, uh, grooming is a process used by people with a sexual interest in a children to prepare a child for sexual abuse. 
It is often very carefully planned and can take place over weeks, months, or even years. First, the abuser will build a relationship with the child. This could be either a boyfriend, girlfriend relationship, but uh, make the child think that they're actually like an item, that they love each other. Um, this could be a mentorship. Um, the adult can take the a mentor um, role in the child's life. They can also be a dominant figure in the child's life. Um, and by that, that means that maybe they have a strong relation with one or both parents. Um, maybe they're an uncle. Maybe they're a best friend of one of the parents. So they're just a dominant um, adult figure in this child's life and they get to see them often. Um, or they uh, build a relationship with uh, the family if they didn't already have a relationship with the family. And this is all to build a relationship with the child and their main goal is to build trust with the child. And what sucks about grooming is that um, this relationship that this abuser has with the child actually mimics um, a generally positive relationship. It mimics a, a good relationship, um, mimics, mimics a positive relationship. So in these early stages, it's very hard to tell if the child is actually being groomed because it looks like a healthy, positive relationship that this child is having with this adult figure. Um, Next, the uh, abuser will gain power over the child and um, finally they'll tell them to keep all of the abuse that is happening a secret. You know, no one will believe you, um, you're going to ruin our relationship and so forth. So that's sexual grooming. And lastly, technicality versus morality. Technically, to my knowledge, Drake has not done anything illegal. In the case of Millie Bobby Brown, in the case, <laughs> I felt like a lawyer. In the case of Millie Bobby Brown and Billie Eilish, all we know is that they are texting. Um, we do not know if these are sexual messages. I'm not saying that these are sexual messages. All we know is that they are texting and technically, it is not illegal for a Drake to be texting these people. Um, with Haley Baldwin, now Haley Bieber, she was a legal adult when they casually dated, so technically it was legal. In the case of Kylie Jenner, um, to my knowledge, they never did anything when she was underage, to my knowledge. Um, I couldn't find anything that say that. I saw lots of people um, said online that they did have sex when she was underage, but these were all from uncredible sources. So I can't say if they did. So to my knowledge, they didn't. Um, and, you know, recently when they casually dated or whatever, um, when they were spotted going out, you know, she is a legal adult. And even in the case with um, the 2010 video, when he kissed that old 17 year old. Um, I don't know what state this was in, but if they're in the United States, certain states have um, the age of consent at 17. I know Illinois, where I am in, um, the legal age of consent is 17. So she consented to being kissed by Drake. It is technically legal, even though she is not 18 and adult. So technically, to my knowledge, he has not done anything illegal. But just because he hasn't done anything illegal, does that mean it's morally right? Just because something is legal does not mean it's morally right. For example, there were tons of things in this country of the United States of America that were legal, but were still very wrong. For example, denying interracial couples marriage their right to get married was legal at one point because interracial marriage was illegal. Same thing with same-sex marriage. You can just say, no, you're not getting married because that was legal at the time. But now, you know, great news, same-sex couples can now get married. Um, slavery huh, was legal for a very long time, um, even though that's obviously wrong. A uh, woman couldn't vote. It, it was legal. That was that was the rules. Them were the rules. Um, 
So, I mean, the list goes on. There are lots of stupid laws America has had because American history just is full of stuff. Um, and yeah, so just because something's legal doesn't mean it's right. So I feel like me and you both should ask ourselves, is what Drake is doing with these underage girls and these young girls morally right? Because we already figured, you know, technically he's not breaking any laws, but is it morally right? That's what I challenge you to, to think about. I have said my piece. Um, I think it's fucking weird that he's talking to these young girls and I do think he's grooming them, um, honestly. And I think Millie and Billy, their names rhyme, that's cute, uh, need to be careful, honestly. I think they need to be careful. Um, hopefully nothing sexual has come out of it, um, but I think they just need to keep their distance and just be careful because according to the past, Drake has been known to be weird around underage girls. He's fucking weird, he's a creep. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let's all keep an eye on Drake. That's all.